be careful gang there's a lot going on there's a lot going on matthew do you not feel uh you water down the term totalitarian when you use it so freely like modern day canada is not nazi germany or 1960s ussr uh matthew no i'm not do we have to wait until world war ii the concentration camps have already been used and millions of people have already been murdered before we call the government totalitarian fascist right why is it that we have to look at what's taking place politically in hindsight why can't we call things for what they are at the time that is happening right for example there were a lot of people in the 1930s calling nazi germany fascist totalitarian they were calling him out for the crimes that they were committing however a lot of people said oh take it easy they're not that bad we still got to do deals with them look at how ibm was working with them uh with technology making sure that they could cat they could catalog everybody that they were putting in the concentration camps why do we have to wait after the fact until we call certain regimes what they are and in canada 100 percent, it is a totalitarian government right now no doubt no doubt okay no doubt no doubt they seized people's bank accounts without due process they threw peaceful protesters in jail without bail denied okay they brought in emergency measures to deal with peaceful protesters when peaceful protesters went to the capital the prime minister of canada flew to the other side of canada and hid up in a cabin okay uh, i don't know what we need to call a government totalitarian but to me that is 100 totalitarian government they're passing laws to censor people okay free speech gone in canada fairly soon they can come after you for mind crimes thought crimes okay very dangerous very dangerous and this is the world economic forum 